Hi everyone, Lee here at Extreme Car Audio in Bumrad. Quick video for you tonight on RCA leads. RCA audio interconnect cables, otherwise known as phono leads. Um, really simple things, these take the signal from your stereo and deliver it to your amplifier. One thing I'm always trying to tell our students on our car audio courses that we run here is that car audio is a system, just like a, a water system in a house. If you create a choke point by using one weak component in your system, the whole system will not run right. Now, one of your most key components is your RCA cable. This is the only thing responsible for taking the signal from your stereo to your amplifiers. And your amplifiers can only play what you feed them. Now, there are many different types of RCAs. I'm going to deal with basic up to mid-level RCAs here because for the majority of the time, unless you're doing a really high-end build, you're not going to use any more than this. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to pop the camera down here so you can actually see what I'm doing. I'm going to talk you through a few of the most common types of RCAs. So you have to forgive my, uh, my slightly dodgy camera work here, but uh, here we are. Here's our first step on the ladder. Now, every set of these four RCAs are what we call twisted pair, and that means that inside, I'm not sure whether you can quite see this in the lens, it might not be fine enough, but each one of these, the core is twisted, and this helps to stop signal interference. You should not be using any RCA which does not have at least that basic format. Any straight line RCA that doesn't have any twist to it whatsoever inside, do not use it, and it will usually be marked on the side of the cabling, as this one is, if it has that feature. Now these, as you can see, have a quite thin slug of copper inside them, they have an aluminium shield around the outside, and then a thin rubber shield. Now this is your basic RCAs, these come in sort of 10, 15 euro wiring kits, and to buy individually they're about 5 euros. Next up from that, we have these, significantly more chunky, same basic principle, twisted pair inside, much thicker aluminium shield, and a much thicker, thicker rubber outer. These come in a wiring kit of about 30 euros, and to buy them individually, you're at about 8 euros. Going up from there, we have these. Now this is a four channel RCA, but it doesn't really make any difference for the purposes that we're talking about here. It's the same kind of principle. We have twisted pair, again, thick, again, inside, really nicely put together. Really nice, solid terminals on these really high quality and in addition to the twisted pair and the thin outer shield they also have a thick rubber shield for where the RCA is going to be running through the car itself so a much higher quality thing now these are around 20 euros just for a set of the RCAs although that is a four channel kit so if you're working on a two channel say about 12 euros so you've got five or six euros for a set of these depending on what shop you're in seven or eight euros for a set of these and around ten to twelve euros for a set of these now above that when we get onto the first of our sort of serious RCAs as we would call them is these now these would look pretty much the same as the uh, as the rubber shielded ones we've had there without the rubber shielding so you would think they were a lower set but when you handle these they are softer they are more malleable everything about them feels higher quality and you can see they come in this lovely display box and the reason is that these come from a really reputable audio company Stinger from the USA now these are what they call audiophile grade RCAs so these are pure oxygen free copper they're directional RCAs they only run one way and that really helps to reduce noise interference in the car now I'm just going to pop the uh, camera back up so when should you use the various types? Well, the rule of thumb with car audio that car inst audio installers mostly use is the price of your amplifier budget about 30% of the cost for a wiring kit. So, 100 euro amplifier, budget on a 30 euro wiring kit. 200 euro amplifier, budget on a 60 euro wiring kit. 300 euro amplifier, budget on a 90 euro wiring kit. What you have to bear in mind, and for those who have seen our speaker fitting video, you'll understand what I'm saying here. Don't treat car audio like home audio. When you buy your home hi-fi, it comes in one box, all these connections are inside and very, very short. Sure. They're already done for you. When you buy an amplifier, you're buying a raw component of the system. And it's not just the component you need to buy. You need to buy everything else to go along with it, and you need to make sure it's the same quality as the component that you're fitting. So if I bought a 300 euro amplifier, and then plugged it in with a set of these basic RCAs, I would not be doing the amplifier service. 
and I will also be creating a real risk of a choke point inside the car. On the other hand, 60 euro amplifier, this really is the right RCA lead to use. I'm not going to use an RCA lead which costs half the price of the amplifier when I'm fitting it. Little word on fitting RCAs. Most RCAs come with right angle plugs at one end and straight plugs at the other end. You will usually use the right angle RCAs behind the stereo because it takes a little bit less depth to mount them. So when you shorten space behind the stereo, that's where you would usually use them. You have plenty of depth behind the stereo, you can use them at the other end, at the amplifier end, and it will make things nice and neat. The exception to that being a directional set of RCAs, which you always want to run one way. However, most directional RCAs, just like this set, have two sets of straight ends rather than a right angle. When you're fitting in the car, you can run your RCA and power cable down the same side of the vehicle and when you turn the system on you may have no noise interference. If you did, excellent, you were lucky. If you do turn it on and you have noise, the first thing you're going to have to do is rip all your cabling out and move the RCAs to the other side of the vehicle opposite the power to make sure they've not been picking up that noise interference from the power cable which is connected direct to your bulk battery and alternator. Now, one way to reduce the chance of this is a higher quality RCA. The better, shielding, the better the shielding on the RCA, the less chance there is of noise interference. But it doesn't replace good practice. As an installer, we know if we fit the RCAs at the same size as the power cable, we are taking a risk. If we have noise afterwards, we're going to have to strip the damn things out and we're going to have to rerun them. If you put them in the right place to start with, when you turn the system on, if you have noise, you can pretty much isolate the RCAs immediately because you know they're well away from the power cable. The other thing is, when you run them down the side of the vehicle, try, if you can, to run the RCAs down the opposite side to the ECU. So on cars like uh, Opals and stuff like that, where you have the ECU in the driver's footwell, try and run the RCA down the passenger side. In a car where the RCA is on the right-hand side, um, old 90s BMWs and the like, try and run the RCA down the driver's side. So you can make sure it's always opposite to where the ECU is. When you route it underneath the seats, try and keep it away from the fuel pump and anywhere else that's going to generate a lot of electrical noise. Generally, what you want to do if you've got the time is take the seats out and run it slap bang down the middle of the passenger side underneath where the seat would go and that way you don't get too close to the transmission tunnel on one side and you don't get too close to the existing wiring loom on the other side. As I say, quick video for you tonight. If you've got questions on RCAs, either you need to upgrade and you're changing for a bigger amplifier and you want to know whether you need to change them or you want to chat about anything else in your system, give us a call 2755 1122 or visit us at extremeteammalta.com. Speak to you soon.